Good enough. Thank you. Like <laughs> and subscribe. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Welcome to your channel. What I wanted to do, this is, a, this is not sponsored by anybody in any way that we bought this with our own money, but I wanted to share this with everybody. You know, Ben's at the storms that come through and the massive flood and, and you know, just devastation that come through Eastern Tennessee and Western North Carolina. I hate to phrase it like this, but it's biblical stuff. It really is. This right here is something that I'm gonna recommend that everybody get. This right here is a uh, emergency alert weather radio. You can buy them at Walmart, CBX, I think even has them just different. I think even dollar store may have them, I'm not real sure, but this one right here, uh, uh, my wife Amanda actually picked this one up exactly two days before the storm came through, two days. And uh, this was like very, very, very beneficial for us. So what it is, the reason I wanted this certain kind, the reason I've been holding out until we found this kind, and I want to say that she even found this at Publix, the grocery store is where I think she actually found this one. This is a Midland brand. And uh, I'll leave a link to it down in the description. I'll find out. And this thing, the reason I'm holding up for this kind is simply because this one here has a solar panel on it. It's charged with solar. You can let it sit down out like right now, just sit out here and hold it. And it's charging as, as I'm holding it. It's actually charging. On a solar panel, you can just take this thing, you can set it up. I always try to angle, angle them like the sun's over there. I try to angle it more toward the sun to get the most efficiency out of it. But it's charging now. All right, if it runs low overnight, say like you're using it and it, you know, you leave it on all night and the batteries run down or whatever, it actually has a hand crank on it too. You turn this thing for a little while and it charges it too. You know, just a few cranks like that right there, charge it for a couple minutes and it's good, you know, for a long time as far as radio. This thing has a flashlight on it. It's bright out here so I can't show the flashlight. It's on, then bright, and then a strobe, the flashlight is. All right, it has the antenna, of course, right there. And then it has uh, AM, FM radio, which I don't want to play too much of because of the copyright strike on here, but uh, I will show the, you turn it on. Okay, right there, right here's your tune, your volume. It's on weather, the emergency alert. Okay, you can tune it. Yeah, I think it has five preset weather settings on it. Like I said, it has AM, FM stereo on it too. You can listen to the radio. I'm not gonna play that because like I said, copyright strikes and stuff like that. But this thing right here is very, very, very beneficial. Um, so like, you know, parts of uh, here in East Tennessee, Western North Carolina, wherever our other place is, over there they lost uh, power, internet, water. They lost everything for almost, some people still don't have it now. Uh, this is, I think three weeks after the, after the storm. So, with that being said, something like this is pretty, pretty, pretty important because you want to know what's going on. All right, this thing, another good thing about it is it's also a portable battery bank, too. You can actually charge your cell phone or whatever off of this thing. You know, you come to the, this little cord here. But, like, if you have an iPhone or something like that, you have to have your own cord. This right here is for, like, a Android-type device. But all you got to do is it's got a little cover right here. You flip that cover down. You plug your plug your cord into it like that, and then plug it in your phone and charge your phone. Uh, even like uh, the civil alerts, you know, like if any, like God forbid a war or something ever come here, you know, this thing right here, would, you know, they could alert you through this. Like if you expect tornadoes, you know, getting your tornado shelter, you got this thing right here, throw it in down there with you. But I can't stress enough how important something like this really is. This is uh, to me something like this 
is next to water, having water, which uh, we're installing another tote here. I'll throw a video, video of that up too. Uh, adding to our water supply here. We're gonna keep getting more and more totes. I wanna add probably eight, 10 more totes total, water totes of 275 gallon totes. Whenever I get done, I'm gonna have a major water supply up here. Uh, and then I'm also gonna fix a, a big reservoir at the top of the mountain and I'm gonna pump it up there and let gravity feed down. But anyway, guys, I just wanna throw this out there. This thing has a 2600 milliamp hour battery built into it, lithium ion battery. It's rechargeable, like of course it is, because you know it's got solar panels, stuff like that. But this is the one I've been holding out to find simply because of the little solar panel and the hand crank. It's got everything I was looking for. So, I mean, really, you can't you can't get a better one. Midland's a good brand. Uh, I'm like I said, we're not sponsored by it in any way, but I do like their products and stuff. And this thing right here's gonna go in our emergency supplies in there. Just simply because, yeah, I mean, you never know. And the way that everything's looking in the world today. Something like this is very, very, very beneficial for you. Because you never know. Weather, weather's totally, totally different than it used to be. That weather now and weather 10, 15 years ago is dramatic. It's, it's taking a dramatic turn. I don't want to say it's due to uh, global warming or anything like that. I don't want to say anything like that. Um, but I, I do watch a lot of stuff referring to like, like pulp pole shifts and stuff like that and I really think that's more in line of what's going on with the weather is the pole type shifts but anyway guys that's neither here nor there I don't want to sound like a nut job on on YouTube but anyway guys if, if you haven't got something like this uh, I, I recommend that you get it because it's it's a big game changer when it comes to your your emergency supplies and stuff like that you'll really really be glad you had something like this and the only thing I don't like about it is whenever that storm was going on, we turned this thing on and it was constantly going off the siren on ear, ear, ear. It was constantly making a siren noise. But I mean, which is good. I mean, you know something's going on, don't get me wrong. But I think it went off like every two, three minutes or something like that. They, when, every time they updated it and that alarm that goes off that you hear on the radio, this thing was doing it too. And it is extremely loud when it does it, it gets your attention. So, which is a good thing, don't get me wrong. It's a good thing. But anyway, guys, if you haven't done so yet, please hit that like and subscribe button. And I'll leave a link to this thing if you want to check it out. Like I said, we bought this their own money. It's just I'm trying to just trying to help other people, I guess, the best we can. Try to get the word out that stuff like this is what we use and I recommend. But anyway, guys, thank you. If you ain't, if you ain't done so yet, hit that like and subscribe button, and uh, we'll, we'll we'll catch you on the next one. Hopefully. Like, subscribe, watch our videos. Bye.